it's Gracie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my one bedroom, one bathroom apartment in downtown Tampa. For privacy reasons, I'm not going to be sharing exactly where I'm living or any of the amenities that this building offers, which are incredible because I do obviously still live here. I just moved in last month. There are things that are not finished, out of place, and it is just a little bit messy, but y'all have been asking and I want to give it to you guys. So it's not a perfect apartment tour. This isn't how it's going to look forever and ever, but you'll be able to get a glimpse and a basic understanding of what my one bed, one bath apartment is like here in downtown Tampa. At the end, if you guys have any questions about things that I didn't cover, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and get back to them in the comments or in another video. And without further ado, let's take a tour of my apartment. So right when you walk in, we've got this cute little entry table and mirror. There used to be a little key holder hanging up here, but it broke. So I think what we're gonna hang up here instead, I haven't hung yet, but they are these acrylic sunglass holders. So I can just like grab sunglasses on my way out the door. I thought that that would be so fun. But for now, they sit here. It's approaching Valentine's Day and February, so I've got some Valentine's Day decorations. But then over here, I've got this that literally just fell. Okay, I've got these cute little citrus plates that I found at Home Goods. I have a large one over here and a small one over here. I've got a candle going right now that my mom got me for Christmas and a cute little heart dish that I think I wanna put some chocolates in. I have this cowboy boot which I bought and I didn't realize it didn't come with the little pink matches. And so this little pink layer sits in there and this positive lemon from Amazon, but that's just kind of the front area right here. And then we've got some more hooks where I hang my purses and some hats. Like I said, this place is not fully done. So like the scooter's gonna go, this has to go back in my car and this is a whole mess in and of itself. But just bear with me and understand that this is just kind of a catch all spot right now. I will turn you in this way just to briefly show you. Here is the bathroom. It also connects in through this door, which is the door inside to the bedroom. So it's easy to access from the bedroom and for guests to use since this is a one bed one bath We will come back to the bathroom after I do the room tour in here I'm not gonna open it, but it's just the AC unit and I believe that the vacuum is stored inside of there We've also got a nest for the temperature and you know the little electrical box I brought this mirror from my college apartment It was in my storage unit it came back down to the storage unit and then I moved it over here so that I could do cute little OOTDs because the bedroom door is obviously right here here. It is a barn door, so you can close the barn door here. Here's a sneak peek into my bedroom, but close the barn door and it's a great backdrop for OOTDs. Nothing has to be messy. Nothing has to be seen if it's messy in the bedroom. So I love that I can do that, which is why the mirror went here. Excuse my appearance while I film this. And right here, just a little linen closet, you know, towels, toilet paper, all the regular stuff gets stored inside there. And then if you turn back this way, it is still the mirror. So that's kind of all in this corner. This storage shelf also came with the place. The top two items belong to the owner as well as a couple things like these little flower jars. But for the most part, I've tried to decorate it. I need to still put pictures in some of these picture frames, but you kind of get the gist. My neon sign is also sitting up here. I try to like sit it up, but I haven't exactly conquered that yet, but hopefully the go-getter sign will be up there. You can see. The cord is just hanging out here for a while. But just a quick look at what I kind of have on the shelves here. Some Disney stuff. I love this little hurricane base. It's usually for a candle. But no candle in there. Actually, this used to be inside. But then I thought it was too pretty to keep out. This is a wine that you can buy at Disney. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. I've actually never tried it. But I thought it was so cute. Once upon a vine. I have a little cross back here that has been in my apartments and bedrooms forever and ever and ever. I've got a go-getter candle. This came from my aunt. It's actually from Target. But she just couldn't resist. And it literally says bubbly nose of champagne and success like it is the perfect candle picture frame here I need to put some pictures in it this is the box to my new bag that I just got for Christmas and then this the guy had and of course my YouTube play button the crazy thing about this shelf is that these two pieces have survived since my freshman year dorm and I will tell you these like fake flowers they're so cute with this little blue striped face I mean um, it still has a TJ Maxx clearance tag on it for $10 best $10 investment because it has made it thus far we've got an elephant I love this one be in love with your life every minute of it. This cute little gold girl came from Amazon. This just came from TJ Maxx. I just absolutely loved how it looked. I also have this candle that has amethyst pieces in it, which is my birthstone. Another one of these hurricane vases. And then this is a glass of Prosecco, which is actually so special. My sister actually customized it. It's a bottle of La Marca that she got customized that says happy 100K subscriber. So it's an old bottle. I also have another picture frame down here. And then this elephant from my friend Kate. I got it from her in 
South Africa last year. Oh, I want to go back to Africa so bad. Next tier down, another Louis box. This came here. I've got some, you know, cute Valentine's things. So that's the D mine and the lips. I've got the Florida homesick candle, which I got at school in Alabama and never lit it. Didn't mean I wasn't homesick, but it was just so cute I couldn't. And then this University of Alabama art print that I helped create with a company um, back in freshman year. Like I sent them ideas of places to include. Here's actually where I lived, freshman year, Pres one and sorority row is not on here, but there's Brian Denny and the president's mansions over here. Then I have this little candle snuffer from Anthropology. It looks like a little cheetah leopard. And then down here, just some more random things. Got some little books. Don't ask why these sunglasses, it's all a joke. A little shaker from the stadium. Got some more books. Got a little elephant down here. And then these are a couple things I just kinda need to deal with. The place came with a Roomba. This is actually donation. So like I said, it's not perfect in here, but I really wanted to get this out for you guys. Got some more art prints, then I'm gonna do a gallery print on this wall. I just need to get two of the prints printed out, so I'm just waiting on that. Of course, I've got a lovely tripod that's just standing here. Yoga mat. I've got this little lap desk for if I ever want to have my laptop out here on a hard surface and work on the couch and some blankets. Side table, of course. We've got some super cute coasters. These are from Shop Blue & Co. These look like Vuv and Howdy. Got this little sign. It says there's only one thing better than a glass of champagne, a bottle. It's just kind of sitting there for now. As I explained in the beginning, this all came furnished, so I didn't purchase this, this, this. Tried to girl it up just a little bit. This is actually a pretty cool couch. It reclines. It's got some really cool features. I've got this also from Lou & Co. It says, Mom, I am a rich man. When I ordered it, I was thinking it was going to be a big old pillow. This is a small pillow, and I will tell you, it is expensive. It's the Furbish needlepoint pillow, but you know what? I just love the quote, so I couldn't leave it behind. And then a barefoot dreams blanket. And my brew roommate era's cup that I am absolutely obsessed with. The iMac box. This probably needs to go somewhere. But over here I've got the desk, my iMac, my laptop, to-do list, all the little things that a desk might have. I'm going to skip over the bar cart really quick to go back over here. Now maybe this is a good view of when you walk in. Here's kind of what you see. And here on the coffee table I just added this pink runner. If you know, you know. I got this rug. and um, It's a Ballard Designs type rug but it's actually from Etsy. I got it for my apartment in college. And over here I just have my Asseline books. I have a Palm Beach. I have a Disney and then I have a Tuscany. I've also got this cute little elephant hanging out over here. It's like a book edge thing. It's more of these Lou & Co. Um, coasters. And then over here, I got this little crisscross stand that's supposed to like have one of these books open up. I did not like it and then I just never returned it to Amazon. So I've got my Bible, my Kindle, and the remotes to the yes. We're getting there, two TVs. This is without a doubt what I get the most questions on in my videos is, is that two TVs? Yes, they are two TVs stacked upon each other. I did not do this. I did not put the TVs out. That was not Austin's doing, but here we are. It's actually kind of nice. It plays the same thing, so I don't really get the point, but I think there's a potential way that you can play like two different sports games going on at the same time kind of a thing. And um, But honestly, when I do turn on the TV, it's not bad. I've totally gotten used to it. So that is what I've been getting a lot of questions on. So now to just give you a little overview of the living room. It's so nice because then here's my desk and of course the view is just absolutely incredible. Today it's a little gloomy out here in Tampa but the view of the city during the day and especially at night is unmatched. I love it. And then of course underneath that we've got my bar cart. This is a new bar cart and um, with some older decorations and things on it. I'll quickly run through it. It's obviously seasonally decorated right now for Valentine's Day. I have this giant bottle of Vuv. It's huge. This is for my 21st birthday. I think we're going to crack it open this year for my 24th birthday because this is not something that you drink alone or just with one other person. I mean, you will be on your bootay if you have one or two people drink this. So I'm waiting to have quite a few people over. I've got these cute little cocktail napkins that say shake and not stirred. Austin's mom got me these for Christmas as part of my gift. And that is just like literally the cutest thing ever. Got some bottle stoppers in here that are from a Lily Pulitzer and Target collaboration from so many years ago, um, but so cute. And then this is a little stopper. I've actually got two of these for champagne bottles. Then I've got a little cocktail making kit here. This is from Amazon and on my storefront. Same with this little, you know, drink mixer. I've got some liquid IV in here. I've got this little kiss me and a gummy bear candle over here. This is also from Amazon. It's a little ice bucket disco ball, or you can kind of make it whatever you want. I've got this book from Anthropology called Nixology. It's low to no alcohol cocktails. I think it's fun to just have a fun drink. I really appreciate that book, but I also have this book from Anthropology 
called Cocktails in Color, so it's a bunch of different cocktails you can make. Then, for Valentine's Day, how cute are these little wine glasses? They are glass, and I found these at TJ Maxx. I could only find three of them, so instead of having a weird set of three, I just have two. And then I have some drinky drink stuff down here. Prosecco, rosé, got a red wine back there, Deep Eddie's Grapefruit, Simple Syrup, and these two are no alcohol mixers, so you can mix them just with a sparkling water or anything to make a mocktail, or with, of course, vodka, gin, tequila, etc to make a cocktail. So I've got pomegranate and this one is like a cucumber lime one. And then these two are pre-made cocktails from Kettle One, an espresso martini and a Cosmo. And all you do is you shake it up with ice and it's supposed to be really delicious. But I still haven't tried most of the stuff that I've filled my bar cart with, including all of these liqueurs and the vodkas. I haven't even cracked them open yet, but I do like how they look. Got Kettle One, we've got this one called Gallant. It's a grapefruit and elderflower vodka. And then Mr. Black coffee liqueur, which I heard is amazing for making your own espresso martini. So that's kind of the overview and I've also got a bunch of different glasses. It's pretty much Amazon, 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 and then these are from Ross back here, those martini glasses. And that's my cute little bar cart. I love it. Then of course I have a balcony. All the cushions are actually sitting in here because it's been raining a little bit. And actually all this is going to have to come inside this week because they will be pressure washing and cleaning all the windows. And But it's just like a cute little balcony view out there of Tampa. And then of course we've got the kitchen. Over here, I'm sure you're very interested. These are just my diplomas from Alabama. Yes, I do have three diplomas because I have my bachelor's, my master's, and I graduated with honors, which comes from the honors college, which is technically a third college on campus. So my three diplomas over there. And then, like I said, a little dirty going on over here, but that's fine. We've got the fridge, nothing crazy about a fridge. It's got a lot of Celsius in it and some food and sauces and all that jazz. So <laughs> that's the fridge. And I've got a little toaster oven. Here's my air fryer, knives. You kind of get the gist. These are from Amazon. That's great. Olive oil, my Ninja Creamy, which is awesome. And then of course in all the cabinets, we've got a bunch of different stuff. I've got some glassware, some plates. I need to get my own plates and bowls. I'm just using the ones that came with this place. And then this little cabinet I use as a pantry, extra Celsius, snacks and all kinds of stuff and some seasonings on the top rack. And then in here, I think I've got extra charcuterie boards and Tupperware and paper towels. These art prints I am absolutely in love with. A couple of these I've had from my college apartment. The other ones I believe are from Amazon. I just thought they were so cute. Wine fridge came with the place. So did literally all the wine in here. Um, I've never even touched this thing, but I just leave it for the owner. And then, you know, we've got drawers with utensils, cookware, cutting boards down here, just kind of basic stuff. Charcuterie board, sink, Dawn Power Wash, great thing over here. I've got this dish drying mat from Amazon. Oh, my library book is on here. The measure, We're reading that for our semester at Sea Friend Group Book Club. And a dishwasher, oven, microwave, you know, you get the gist. These are also from TJ Maxx because I believe in decorating for holidays. And so as soon as New Year happens, it's Valentine's Day. And so from the kitchen, one quick overview of the living room and my desk area, sort of my workspace. And then we'll come back over here into the hallway. This TV needs to go, so don't mind it. And again, like I said, kind of messy. Here is the bedroom. So there are no windows in the bedroom. It's my really only complaint with this place, but I've got a hatch alarm clock and a lot of lighting, so it definitely helps to brighten up the space. All the furniture in here also came with the apartment, including this giant mirror, which I actually love. And don't mind me, I'm packing right now, which is why it's a mess up here. But I've got a little artwork. I've got some clothes in these drawers. These are mostly like bathing suits at this point down here. Bathing suit tops, bathing suit bottoms. Yes, I live in Florida and I have a million bathing suits. In this little closet over here, I've got the washer and dryer that's in unit. So I just keep everything on the top, like my dryer sheets, softener, all of that. And then a little trash can for all the lint and of course some dirty clothes. This is a king size bed, which is actually so nice. And it's a very comfy mattress. Everything pretty much on this bed is from Amazon. The sheets, the duvet, the duvet cover. This is a Barefoot Dreams blanket from Nordstrom Rack. And that's a Lily Pulitzer pillow. We've got two nightstands. So one of the nightstands goes here and one goes by the bed because there is not enough room on the wall to have both the nightstands and the bed with all the bulky furniture. If this were my own place, I still think I'd go with a king size bed, just not so bulky of furniture but again just my place for the next five months we've just got the lamp over here hanging out with some stuff in the drawer we've got this little alcove which on this bar i hang to dry my clothes from the laundry which is actually so nice and comes in handy got some hats in here 
Mickey ears back here, and then these are all of my bags. We've got designer in this one. We've got belt bags and beach bags in here, and then in this one, I think it's just kind of like miscellaneous random bags that I have. Got some more bins down here. This has books in it, and this has some travel stuff, and then I keep all of my slippers underneath here. Got another little nightstand with my hatch alarm clock on it, and of course, a lamp, sleep mask, retainer, you know the drill. And then here is the closet. I cannot not complain whatsoever about this closet look at all this room the one thing I don't love is that there's another dresser in this closet which makes it appear a little bit smaller but it has come in handy because the drawers do have some stuff in it so I am putting clothes in here as well got my jewelry all organized on the top shelf we've got sweatshirts and jean jackets hanging up here we've got two-piece sets short dresses and tops I need to hang this jacket back up and this is athletic top I've got boots on the rack up there and then all the rest of the racks down here are shoes so I'm just very grateful for the big closet space because if you know I was taking up three different closets at my parents house to house everything I just hold a lot of memories and clothes and that sort of thing so we've got jewelry here necklaces and bracelets these are all of my fun earrings I've organized them by color multicolor neutrals blues and greens whites oranges and yellows pinks reds these are all gold and then black and silver then i've got stud earrings over here or just like smaller earrings that aren't so big and rings so that's kind of how i organize all of the jewelry and like i told you with the clothes it's not perfect it's a little messy right now as i keep saying but you get the gist i'm still kind of in the process of moving in then of course i've got one of my suitcases up here i've got one of my little duffels up here extra pillows and then my main stuff like my base duffel and the big away suitcase with the carry-on suitcase tucked in it are around this corner i like the drawer system i actually totally took apart this closet before i moved in and moved around all the drawers and racks to make more sense as much as I could because it's pretty much pre-sized so you can really only move things around slightly but I do think it's much more organized than how I got it so that is the bedroom so we've got closet bedroom area I like to sleep on this side of the bed because it's closer to the bathroom and because obviously it has the nightstand and that's the room pretty spacious I might want to do like piped lights around the top just in white to bring some more light in here but I haven't done it yet it's a hamper I need to throw out and then the bathroom we've got another cute little art print like I said I love this quote mama I'm a rich man and then here is the bathroom we've got a nice shower the water has been running constantly in this toilet I need to get it fixed so that is on the list of things to do. We've got a nice glass shower, got some cute little towels and some organization with toothbrushes and all my products in different things over here and on this shelf and then underneath I try and do the best I can storage wise under here and under here is a little bit messier but that is essentially the bathroom got cute little bath mats these also came from my college apartment the Yora babe came from Etsy and this get naked is from Urban Outfitters and that is the entire apartment I'm not sure how many square feet it is but obviously one bed one bath in Tampa and I am absolutely loving it here and that is my apartment tour I hope that you guys enjoyed like I said and continue to say throughout the whole video it's not finished and it's not a thousand percent clean right now but I did want to give you guys just a full tour of what it looked like in here if I didn't cover anything that you are interested in just let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them down there or maybe in a future video I'm so happy I finally got to address the dual TV situation I like it like I said it usually plays the same thing it's not so distracting but I did not do this myself those comments just make me laugh so hard it's like I this is not the doing of a woman because of man in this place but all that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this tour of my apartment if there's any other tampa videos or apartment videos you want to see just let me know down below if you're new here in addition to lifestyle i do a lot of travel videos so make sure that you subscribe down below if you are new here so that you don't miss out on anything that's to come i love you guys so much i hope you have a wonderful day if nobody has told you today i am so proud of you keep going i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye